Hello and welcome back to the Joyful Soul Creates. Charlotte here with another Skull and Crossbuns DT project to share with you. And today I'm going to be making a card using the Large Mermaid stencil, the Tropical Party stamp set, and then also I will be doing some heat embossing with Wow Cloud9 embossing glitter. I have my Sizzix Circle dies, some Distress Oxides in Wild Honey and Lucky Clover, as well as a Distress Ink in Tea Dye, and then also Hero Arts caramel ink. To start with I have taped my stencil onto my card base. Actually there's repositionable adhesive on the back of my stencil. I used Tombow Mono Multi liquid glue on my stencils to hold them in place and then I've used some masking tape around the edges and I'm just pressing my embossing ink all over that and I will add my embossing glitter. Actually this would probably be better to do without having the Tombow on the back of the stencil. Having the Tombow on the stencil means that if I were to remove the stencil before adding the embossing glitter any residue of that glue would pick up the embossing glitter which meant I had to leave the stencil in place which also meant the stencil gets all that embossing powder stuck to it for one thing it's it wastes quite a lot of embossing powder but also you have to wash it off afterwards which means you're putting microplastics into the environment which is something I try to avoid doing so um I need to think that through better in future. Moving on I'm going to start on my stamped elements and I'm using the little um, tropical island stamp from the tropical party stamp set and I'm going to stamp this in three colours so I'm wiping away the ink in between from each of the areas that I don't want that particular colour on. So the kind of base part of the island I stamped with the wild honey distress oxide. Then for the tree trunks I'm going to use the tea dye distress ink. Distress ink is not the best for stamping and I did have to double stamp it to get a good impression but I don't have a suitable distress oxide colour so I used that one instead. And actually all these distress colours that I'm using today are brand new for me and these are the first time I'm using them. So I used the Lucky Clover on the leaves of the palm trees and that's a nice rich green colour and that completed my little island which um, as you can see I stamped onto a snippet of white and then I want to extend out the island part so I'm going to ink blend s some of that wild honey ink and I'm making sure because this is the first time using this blending sponge for this ink as it's new I'm making sure it's well inked up and I think I actually over inked it so it blended nice and smoothly on my paper so as I said I'm just extending out that island because I will be die cutting this out and I want a nice big space of island. I will spritz the sand area with some water and my water has perfect pearls in it and lift it up with a paper towel. I did let it sit for a moment and this just adds a little bit of extra texture to the sand area. Then I'm going to use one of my circle dies to cut this out and you can see how that looks and I decided to fussy cut away the white area at the top so I would just carefully go around that with my scissors and I find the easiest way to fussy cut is to move the paper and not the scissors and just go slowly and carefully work your way around. I did end up using my craft knife for some of the fiddly areas like between the two palm trees. I will then add on my sentiment which is also from Tropical Party stamp set and then pop up my island with some foam squares and I stamped the sentiment with that caramel hero arts ink. I felt I still needed a little something extra to finish off the card so I'm putting it into my paper trimmer and using the scoring blade just to add a frame along the white area. So the frame is a double line of scoring at one centimetre and half a centimetre in from each edge. Um, so from the left and right and the top and just going all the way down so it meets the embossed glitter area. My idea for this card was that the embossed glitter area kind of looks almost like abstract waves so that was what I was running with and that completes my card. If you would like to get any of these products there is a discount code on screen that you can use to save on your order and you can find links to all the products used down below. Thank you so much for watching I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and press the notification button down below to make sure you don't miss any videos. I do have a giveaway currently on so if you haven't entered that be sure to check it out. There are a couple more videos on screen you may enjoy and I will see you next time. Bye!